Good. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Welcome to the upstream marketing team of SIG Contributor Experience. Boom. Um, it is July 24th. Um, got a ton of cool stuff going on uh, and a fun crew to check it out with. So, hey, everybody. Um, I was out last week, so I'm going to rely on a lot of you and pass the mic to Rajula for the most part on uh, what what's happening in the space. Any sort of big wins people want to give a shout out for that may or may not need discussion? Cool. I'm, I have one thing. I'm excited for Lubaina to join in and do some storytelling. We were talking about that this morning, and I'm super excited about it. <laughs> cool, yeah, let's um, let's talk through editorial. That sounds fantastic, Kazlin. Uh, oh, I wanted to do a quick shout out. Kazlin made last week's uh, Cube Weekly with her SIG Windows post. I'm not sure if we mentioned that. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Yeah, so <laughs> Cube Weekly's readership, I think, is in the tens of thousands. Like, oh, jeez, thousand, I think, is what they're up to now. So, yeah, didn't even know that. I should really tweet about that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the the funniest part of writing on the internet? You're like, you want people to see it, but when you when you hear how many people see it, it's a little like, oh god. <laughs> yeah. <It's strange. laughs> Congratulations. Wait, who runs SIG Weekly? Uh, so myself, uh, Kristen Tan at CNCF, along with Bob, uh, Craig from Google, Craig Cook, or Craig, yeah, Craig Cook. Wow, it's uh, it's, So it's, it's, no, and then there's more people than that. I'm missing people like Daniel O. There's a whole bunch of people from a whole different places that help contribute to it. So here's a full list. Let's see. Seven people in total. Kim McMahon, still part of it. Uh, myself, Michael Hasenblas at AWS, Bob at Michigan, soon to be someplace else, uh, Craig Box from Google, Daniel O from Red Hat, Christy Tan from CNCF. Dang. So yeah, it's a wide swath of the industry that gets to look at it, so it's pretty cool. And we're all out there like reading the news all the time. So yeah. That's fantastic. Could, would you mind putting like a, a sign up link? Um, in the agenda, I think I'm out of the sure. loop there. If you work yeah, well yeah, absolutely. For others, I'm sure. Um, good deal. And uh, I don't think Gitmo is here. Okay. Well, any uh, the agenda items that come to mind, like the huge progress, I guess, like the shout out element of it is that Rujula is just killing it on getting us some automation around um, publishing. But uh, it's definitely to the point where like there, there's code in places, which is a great moment to take a step back and start to kind of segment into what is the, the minimum viable products that you're trying to launch versus like what are the additional feature requests? Because mm -hmm. um, we kind of just threw it all in one place to start. And now that it's taking off, we I just want to support you uh, however best to kind of break that into pieces, make it a little bit less crazy because you only have like 40,000 contributors interested in using your yeah. code now. So <laughs> that's all cool. That, that was what's online for me. Um, little out of sync on storytelling. So if there's any uh, articles in progress, like let's talk through our articles. Mm -hmm. uh, our ideas for them. And yeah, then our recurring steps. Other thoughts, feels? I think we're, I mean, that's good. We'll get cool. the rest of the agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I dig it. Okay. Uh, Lubaina, um, you said you were talking with Kazlin about uh, ideas for articles. Like, could you tell us what's going on there and how we can be supportive? Sure. Uh, I was just talking to Kazlin to understand um, how to get started. Um, it's not something I've done before. So um, I think she pointed me to a couple of really useful resources, uh, and I saw what um, you know she'd done with the um, the uh, the Windows post, um, the Sig Windows post. So I think I was trying to um, see if I can do something similar, and I picked the usability group. So um, that literally happened like 20 minutes ago. 
uh, and um, so that's where we are. So I've picked that group. So I'm just going to spend a little time to get some context, um, figure out who I can speak to, uh, have a list of questions um, that hopefully um, Kazlin and the group can kind of help me review um, so that I can get started. Yeah. That is fantastic. Okay. Um, so we have not been, unless you would prefer to manage things during issue, we've been kind of doing like a lightweight, uh, like editorial process where I'll just okay. add a, a note on, on this project board that I put into chat okay. or actually I should yeah. put it in the notes. Um, I'll, uh, Matt to add to this. Um, that way it's nice and easy for us to be able to see it. So, yep. Could you message me your uh, GitHub handle? Sure. Thanks. Did you also comment on that other issue that you were interested in the usability one? I did actually, um, but I can I can just I can send oh, to okay. you again, Matt. Yeah, because it was it was just about ten minutes ago, like I said. So oh, I found we don't it. have yeah. a chance. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've got you there. Thank you. It's useful to have something to refer back to, though. So. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. It's um, so. Yeah. It's kind of like this is a workaround because we like those big um, what I, I call like umbrella or meta uh, issues, and since mm -hmm. it would, it's difficult to track your personal progress at when it's with a hundred other things, it's just nice to have this board so that we can. Uh, so I know, like, if you're if you make a note in here that you're ready for review or something, I can move the state and make sure somebody is ready to review it for you. Uh, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, nice little feature. Cool. Uh, yeah, uh, Div Divya is working on something as well, but I need to catch up with her. Um, we're all storytelling one. Sumadrala was working on clustering life and taking a look at Node. And Kaslin, I, I know you've been up to a ton of different stuff, but just want to check on the editorial side. Anything going on there that we should know? Not, not yet. <laughs> I was just talking, when I was talking to Lubaina, I was saying I would like to pick up another one. But another thing that I thought of while we were talking was um, I found a couple of other pieces that we could add to the Storyteller Resources folder that we have on there. So yeah. like. If we want people to add things to the project board, I don't know if other people can do that or if they need to ask you, we could add like an instructions file of like, this is our suggested process and tell them about like, I was going to add in the uh, kind of a, a template for messaging a Slack saying, hey, I'm doing this storytelling blog post and I'd like to profile yes. you. Who should I contact? I want to include that. And then if you want to include something about the, the projects board, we could do that too. That sounds, that sounds great. Yeah, I have, I'm cool. going to collaborate on that with you. Um, the projects board is, uh, I'm a little mystified by the permissions of who can and can't add stuff there. But um, <laughs> so far, it's been trial and error. Let me know if you, you can uh, or if you, it would be helpful and you can't. And we'll, we'll troubleshoot it from there. It's basically just Bob hunting through permissions. Um, so, well, we can discuss how we want that to work and then incorporate that into what we put into the resources guide. <laughs> oh, interesting. Doc link is obsolete. Hang on. Oh, yeah, that is quite archived. Cool. All right. Good. Good call, Kartha. Okay, and you need to add that to the to do um, update. Reading invite with correct link. Cool. Do you have the right link now, Kartik? Kart Kartikian. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Sorry. It's, it's Kartikei. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah I have the right link because okay. um, I had changed in the chat. Um, but I was like looking at the uh, invite earlier. That's um, that's a great point. Uh, yeah, great catch. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, 
of just like, how does one update that? Um, I guess we'll find out. Like, I don't know if that's it in a YAML file somewhere or it's something that I can go do myself, uh, like right on Google. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. Cool. Um, good to know on the post, posts are in a good state. Uh, yeah, Kaslin, we got that PR merge of that initial one. Do you want to just maybe do a quick show and tell of what you added in that? Like share your screen? I can give you permission to share your screen. I think it's worth a quick walkthrough. Sure. Of the storyteller resources folder? Yeah, why not? Sure, let me bring it up. <laughs> um, I've gotten used to like the path to getting to the marketing stuff now. I'm excited about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready to share. Da -da -da. Okay, am I sharing the right screen, the GitHub screen? Yep, yeah, we see it. Cool, perfect. I have three monitors, so. <laughs> I feel this pain. The pain of showing the wrong monitor. Yeah. <laughs> Happens that sometimes. Anyway, so we are in Kubernetes slash community slash communication slash marketing team, which is where our team's stuff lives. If anyone hasn't seen it, I think everyone has on here, but anyone watching later might not. Uh, so I added this new folder here, Storytelling Resources. It doesn't have much in it right now. It's just a couple of uh, example interview questions. So when someone picks up a new um, storytelling task, a new blog post, uh, we have two examples of questions that you can ask whatever contact you have within that SIG. <clears throat> to help make your profile. There's this one, which is um, very general, and I got it from the original umbrella post that we were talking about earlier. And then we have this one, which is the interview questions that I used for SIG Windows. So they're kind of Windows specific, um, but they work as an example of, of things that I asked. And so I wanna add in here, like we were talking about, a uh, kind of a short text guide of you're looking to get started with this. Here are kind of the steps that we usually go through to make this happen. And that's it. I think it's fantastic. Thank you. Like having just examples or I'm totally that person that doesn't, that always works from examples more than documentation. So I um, really appreciate you turning it in there. And I can see like a, a readme in this folder that just says like, use this as a baseline and, and uh, here's how to go sign up for an article or how we track them. Like, that sounds fantastic. Sounds great to me. I'll work on that. Great, thank you. Cool, all right. Um, moving along in the agenda. So I think it's time to dive in. Uh, Rajula, could you, Talk us through what's going on uh, with, you know, uh, separating out the two projects that you've got going and then um, how we should be going forward with next steps. Uh, yeah, uh, do you want me to show the board as of now? Yeah, sure. I'll, it's always more fun with live demos. All right, you should be able to share now. Are you able to see a screen? Yes. Okay, so, so this, is a, this is like a dummy Slack thing. So uh, we just have the option for here to post a message. Uh, so the first thing is, let's say if you're not authorized, you're gonna get this message, okay? We can change this message if required. So um, I was using Slack uh, user groups API to check if the user is part of the upstream marketing group or not. That's so cool. Yeah, so this is one. Okay. 
That's very slick. Yeah. Now let's say I want to post in, let's say charity test one and test two. I can choose the channels here. Now let's say, let's say Yeah, so the board has to be added to the channel first. If it's not added, it's gonna show an error. So I'll just uh, go add the bot. Yeah, so now I can go. Use it back. So as of now, I put it as a shortcut. We can change this button. We can trigger this through a through a slash command or anything, whichever one we want. So once we get some feedback, we can decide on that. So now I'll just go. Yeah. So you nice. see the movie that's been posted. So wow. Yeah, this is very basic. Uh, so what else we can do is. Uh, we can try to post, uh, we can try to decide the username while posting. That's one thing we can try. We can try to set the icon. That is one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we can do is, uh, yeah, this is the basic as of now. Do you guys any have feedback or something? Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, I think it's great. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think um, this is that, that's an awesome demo. So it's uh, so just to make sure understanding, like this is a Slack specific bot where a user can manually interact with it and then send a channel or like send a message to multiple channels. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I mean, I like this. Um, I don't. I mean. You know the things we can change are obviously contributor bot name or the image yeah we need to decide on what we want to call that um and what the image should be i mean this group doesn't really have a logo or anything so i, I'm okay I with mean the bullhorn for now so you know <laughs> the blowhorn seems very appropriate yeah um, it, it, for announcements but yeah that stuff aside i think like the the step back to take is like how do people um, request things. We have that through the issue or through a message on Slack. And then the question of who picks it up, how do they send that to multiple channels? Like, I think that's the flow that I'm curious about. Um, and then kind of a separate thread is implementation. Like, um, what are the steps to get this integrated into our, our Slack? Um, I, I definitely have like an internal narrative from Paris from working so closely with her that she was like, anything with this much power will have to be very clear on how people can send it and who can send it um, before it gets merged into anything. So mm -hmm. we'll, um, where, where are the best, well, yeah, okay. I'll just put those as follow-ups for now and then um, or do you want to talk through what your thoughts are so far, Rajula, on, on what, what next steps look like? Uh, yeah, so because we have a restriction to the specific group of us, so I guess it should, shouldn't be hard to get it approved. So once the code review happens from the Slack infra, I guess they should be able to run this. So probably we should run like a uh, feedback thing for a while and then see mm -hmm. the inputs and then try adding new requirements. Fantastic. Yeah. Is there, uh, when you say feedback, what do you have in mind? Uh, let's say uh, if we start using it, so we need to start uh, noticing what else can be done or something needs to be changed or whatever. Yeah. Cool. I think I think this is just a first step, but I think there's a lot more we can do. Remember Paris was trying to uh, Try what she was trying to ask, uh, can we actually uh, pull in all the messages posted in announcements channel and all, uh, or the shout out channel? Yeah, we can do all that sort of stuff. So we need to decide what exactly we want to do. Okay. So 
So let's say there is a shout message posted on the shout out channel. We can just pull it and then create an issue and then we can use it for a tweet or not use it for a tweet. We can do that sort of workflow. Cool. All right, if I want to um, see kind of next steps where it or should I be tracking issues in the Slack infra um, channel or I don't know we've, we've got like a smattering of notes in different places. <laughs> I think it's kind of a function of being in Kubernetes. So I'm trying to think of like, how can we take a step back and make this a little easier for you and for us to follow along and I can update the original issue that started all this, uh, the multi-channel communication thing. We can start updating that. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Fantastic. See this when PR press review or you cool. And you know, Jeff Sega said you rewrite in Golang, which he doesn't have to do because you did. Uh, which is impressive as hell. It was a good learning experience, yeah. That's awesome, man. Go is Castle, are yeah. you ready to go? I, I saw you comment on the code. Okay. Not really. <laughs> I'm always like tangential to Go. There are always people around me writing Go. <laughs> yeah. I did for some testing and uh, for it a couple years ago, but it's so rusty and I I recognize syntax, but I don't, I'm not good at it. <laughs> um, cool. Okay. So I get, uh, so you had some comments, um, both from like a, if we try to take a step back from like program managing that sort of thing, like we're plugging this Slack bot into a larger workflow of of how we do multi-channel communications, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And I think I think that's a thing where it'd be fun to map that out, think through the inputs and outputs of it. Um, yeah, I'll check. I think that's like a getting a draft of that out. Um, a good example of that would be if you say Chris and Kaslin are trying to manually find the tweets from the shoutout channel. What if we can reduce the manual work in that? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I think another follow up task, I'm just going to put in there now, like to start uh, outlining how um, multi channel comms works with new tooling. Okay, very cool. All right, well, uh, the next thing that you've made some great progress on and be worth checking out is the, this tweet, the, this beastly tweet thing. <laughs> it's like the worst <laughs> introduction to it possible. Please do a better one. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, that got merged, right? Yeah, that just got merged this morning, so, or yeah. this evening in your time, so um, no, no worries on like showing it off or anything, but just the next link in here in in the SIGs contributors dash tweets. Yeah, I guess we are, we are ready to start using it. I guess there is one thing that got blocked. Uh, there's a new pull request. We just have to fix that. Mm -hmm. and then we can start testing it. And there is one thing. Yeah, we need to decide on what time to, to use the schedule feature. So we need to decide on a uh, uh, with a specific time where you want to schedule tweets with this automation. Okay, yeah, so that's wait, kind of what I was getting at last week. But wait, you uh, for that, so, man. So I'm, go ahead. Uh, I, it's it's all good. I, I don't know if I'm following the flow here. So we've got like a, a we've got the project merged in, and it looks like it is at least testable right now. And so now we have officially have a new repo to manage, which is awesome. So we could start opening issues against this. I saw um, one was opened about the readme already. We can help you through that. Um, 
but uh, what were you what were you just saying? Okay, about the so timing? this this automation has two features. So one, when you create an issue, let's say you create a pull request with a tweet. Mm -hmm. So once someone approves it, the tweet goes instantly. So there is another feature where you can schedule your tweet for a specific day. Nice. So you can't choose a time as of now, but you can choose a specific day. So in that case, you need to specify a time in the configuration. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So last week I linked to, I think it's in the notes, the buffer, <clears throat> their suggested like time frames as far as like when to tweet. Like there's two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon, and then two hours in the evening that they typically recommend that you tweet in. Um, that's where that piece of little information comes in and helps us here. But we still have to figure out time zone. Uh, so as of now, this automation supports one time, one time zone. Mm -hmm. So we just have to go with something for now. We can go with the same thing we're using as of now. I think we're using a specific time zone around morning. We can use the same thing, yeah. Yeah. In, uh, remind me, does it basically upon merge, does it tweet? If you don't specify a schedule, yeah, okay. it tweets instant. Yeah. Cool. You just have to give us forward slash schedule and then give a date. Nice. That's that's really impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm I'm adding a couple notes to the issue on the README, just like outlining what we want to end up documenting. So what the bot does, why we're using it, uh, limitations, yeah, examples. Um, I can put all of that in the readme. I can get a readme for the first one. That'd be great. Yeah. Cool. And then I think I can wonder if I can slash a sign in this. Let's see. Uh, and then trying to add all that metadata that we do. Maybe we can try out with the test to tweet sometime. Yeah, either Chris or Kathleen, you can try it out and see if it works. If you want to guide us through doing a test right now, well, everyone down? Like, the partly yeah. why we're here. Why not? I always feel more satisfied when we, like, do it do live. This. We do need to send out the shout outs tweets for today, so. There you go. There's a perfect <laughs> test. Okay. What if, Kaslin, if you share the copy of the tweet and Rujula, you screen share and walk us through yeah. the PR? I need to put it together. So let me grab the info for that real quick and yeah, of course, no you get that set up. No, no rush, but does that sound possible, Rujula? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. I think it's going to be multiple shout out tweets today because we've got a lot this week. <laughs> That's sweet. That's great. That's a good problem to have. Yeah, that's why I didn't do it earlier. I was like, I need to like sort through all of these names and figure out how I'm going to organize the tweets. I'll just put one together right now. CI bot and I are not on speaking terms. Uh oh. Copying all of the <clears throat> all of the Twitter user accounts that we need to at. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. I couldn't add you. I couldn't assign that to you, Rizula, because I, I don't believe you're um, a member of the contributor SIG organization yet. 
I think you should have auto gotten invited. Um, so just double check notifications to see if you were, uh, and if not, we'll, we'll get you in there. together set up. Uh, oh. And the other pull request in that repo is, does that need to merge before we can do stuff? Yeah, so that was done by the GitHub Actions hook because the oh. board not part of the org, it, it can't do it. I, I, I'll create a new manual request for that. I'll manually create the file and create a new bullet list. Okay, I mean. Yeah. It's just read it. Yeah. yeah, got the tweet. Yep, so that's the tweet. <laughs> There must be a way. So, I have a tweet folder. How do you want to go with the naming convention of the files? So, this is how it looks like. Now, how do we want to do the naming? Oh, the naming convention of a tweet? Yeah, the name, the file name, the file name. But let's say if you want to debug later on for troubleshooting. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, Not like a file format, like suggestion type thing? The naming convention, let's say tweet one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay. want to give the dates or whatever. Yeah. Maybe like the timestamp of that. Yeah, yeah, I would say just timestamp or epoch or something. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm definitely into it being date bound. Yeah. Um, we could do like date tweet one or something like that for this first one. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> date. That works. Okay. Because there are going to be multiple tweets today with the shout outs at least. So we could say shout out one, but there might not only be shout outs on a Friday. So. <laughs> sure. But they're all tweets, right? So you could say shout exactly. out. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah, I kind of like the the idea of putting the subject in there. So like date, subject, yeah, you number, can do right? Like Some things it might be hard to come up with what the subject should be, but it would be more descriptive. I, I have faith in us to be uh, <laughs> creative on that front. Sensible. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. why, don't, why okay. don't we actually, especially if we're gonna do this, um, like this is gonna be the probably canonical example. So why don't we, uh, do the dash shout out one. Oh. Okay. Yeah, don't want to start with a bad habit of tweet dot tweet. <laughs> Does this look fine? Yeah, that looks shout out you. wrong. You missed an O, or mm -hmm. you. <laughs> you, yeah, there's one you missing. Right now it's shot out. <laughs> Which it technically is also well. accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it is a tweet. Okay, so I guess. Only change, yeah. Hello, world. Uh, if Chris or Kathleen, if you can actually review this. Say again? 
Uh, I need this to be approved by either Chris or Kasna. Sure. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I got you. All right, see. Oh, here we go. You're going to win. <laughs> Chris or Paris, it looks like. We might want to look into that and make sure that I can actually yeah. approve PRs. <laughs> I couldn't do it last time, so. But you could or couldn't, Kathleen. For Rajula's first PR, I couldn't uh, approve it. I did an L LGTM on it, and the bot was like, wow. your LGTM doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> You're no good here. <laughs> you don't matter. <laughs> it wasn't that mean, but. <laughs> this requires a new line, so I'm just going to. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, it's also 21 characters too long. I think we have more characters. That's interesting. I shortened it a little bit because when I put it in Twitter, that was short enough, but maybe it needs to be shorter for some reason. Okay, let me just add a new line and test it again. 280 characters. You could take off the last line if you absolutely have to, but. Hmm. Kaslyn, did you, um, it, it might've been fixed by you getting an invite to contributor SIGs. Um, that should be automated when you post for the first time in contributor SIGs and you're a member of contributor community. Um, so if yeah. you see that, if you see that invite and notifications, then we should be good there. And if you don't, we'll follow up with that. Uh, how do I check the org? I should have permission to do that. Team. This is, this is, I hope it is 21 characters too long. It still says the same thing. This is Rajul, aren't you looking at the old uh, MR? It got merged. It's uh, published actually. Okay. Oh, the tweet sorry. went out? Yeah, it did. I, I can see it right now. 29 seconds ago, I think. Oh, yeah. Yep. There oh, indeed. Goes. And it's yeah. all the way there. It's not wow. missing anything. Yeah. So. Okay, so that yeah. error is weird. Okay, cool. Boom, there you go. <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> and I retweet. Yeah, yeah, we have it. Yes. That's amazing, Yay. though. It worked. That's awesome. Ooh, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Just got to figure out the error. That's all. Indeed. That's awesome. But yeah, look oh, at that. No. Kate's Twitter together up. One of the ads didn't work. I'll fix that in a comment on the tweet. But anyway, that was my bad somehow. Oops. <laughs> Is that not? their Twitter handle? It must not be. I copied and pasted it, I think, so. Uh, oh, no. It got an extra all added at the end of it somehow. Uh, oh. Oh, it's because I'm missing a space in the tweet. Oh, Oops. Do you want to, we can blow it away and do it again. I mean, no, it's not good. It's I mean we have seen it, but. Twitter, Twitter is. Oh. <laughs> Twitter is a place it's already retweeted five times so it's right keeping and um, I'm a I'm a fan of Twitter being a place that accepts failure failure just kind of add on to it. <laughs> I accept failure it's okay um, I didn't realize that like my one I've retweeted it once and that's all I had seen so Maybe maybe this is impossible, but Rajula, is it possible to check when you add an annotation if that user is really available uh, in the in the Twitter platform? Yeah, it's a good Ooh. issue. We can look into it. Yeah. That's a fascinating question. That sounds horrific to manage. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an API call, right? Like you just need yeah, to set this yeah, user. Yeah, it's exists. an API call. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. okay. Yeah, I got it. I guess. 
I was not thinking about that right. You just have to check. But you got to write. Page. Yeah, you got to write something to say. You know, parse the usernames and then. Right. Yeah. yeah. We we can actually look at the uh, like annotation, the at symbol, and uh, pick the next word without any spaces. This is a good upstream for the Twitter to get there, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like you can contribute this back up and be awesome. Love it, upstream. Look at that. We're not Amazing. just helping upstream Kubernetes, we're helping upstream Twitter together. <laughs> really living this is up fantastic. Up. I love open source. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Rajula. Seriously. Wow, that was so cool. I don't know. I'm like way more excited about a GitHub action based tweet than I expected to be. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <laughs> um, Gonna have to do like two or three more of those today. Maybe I'll just uh, make them PRs. There you go. Do it. Test the I was actually going to ask, do we want to mainly do our tweets through this mechanism so that they're always, uh, yes, there's always a record of what we've been tweeting to do that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, of course, I mean, we can't do a... retweets there, but. <laughs> right. Like, there's always the, the retweet and like functionality that we're going to miss. But, mm -hmm. I mean, there's always going to be a record of our tweets unless we delete them. So it's not like we have to do it through that. Like, if it is urgent go ahead and go to, you know, whatever tweet deck or Twitter, whatever you're logged in as. Um, but yeah, I would prefer most of our tweets get scheduled um, through this mechanism. Yeah. And we still need to pick times and everything. I'd also throw it out there, Chris, like, while well, there will always be a record of the resulting tweet, there isn't an understanding of who tweeted it. Uh, and true. That is where this is just such a level up when it comes Easy, to yeah. visibility. 100% um, agree. So from here on out, I'll start tweeting through that. Yeah, unless it's like vitally urgent or something, right? Like that should be the only like reason, you know, a mistake. Yeah, to avoid the like, PR process. <laughs> right, like you accidentally <laughs> had missed a space, right? Like go in and you can absolutely correct that via, you know, like the normal function, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah, instead of like tweeting. Instead I don't know if you like, even tweet a reply through this. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know how you would tweet a reply anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> I just limited to we can't use the media for now, like attachments for oh. pictures and videos. Mm. We have to look at that. I okay. think we can still cool. use images. But you could link. Have... You could drop a link, and wouldn't it auto populate yeah. in most clients? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, but, uh, yeah. The image, like image directly or retweet directly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. We'll add that to the limitations in the README for now, and um, link to the upstream project, and recommend that people add features there. Or yeah. Hell, yes. I'm so awesome. Happy. That was great, y'all. Good <laughs> job. Really amazing. Amazing work. <laughs> wow. Um, cool. Well, that was plenty of excitement. We're, I think we try to end these meetings not a tor toward the top of the hour, but a little bit sooner. So any, let's just do a quick um, speed through the rest. Recurring items, calendar walkthrough for email announcements. Um, well, I guess this is a good moment to ask, like, Rizula, Rizula you, uh, sounds like Jonas was starting to transfer some of these yeah. So, uh, there are two things that are coming up. One is a mentoring meeting on 27th. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm going to send a reminder email, and there is a steering committee meeting on 3rd of August. So, the two things. Cool. Awesome. Take one. Tweet drafts, standard tweets, Monday calendar, Thursday, maybe good first issue. Yep. Kazan, anything you want to talk to there? Or feeling good? Yeah. So the one thing I wanted to call out there, not that it matters that much, but it's an interesting learning, is this week I went to like a dozen different repos within Kubernetes and could not find a single good first issue. Not one. So. <laughs> This goes back to that, we need something with dev stats that says, Kazlin, here's all the good first, you know, here's all the first retweets from all the orgs across the Kubernetes, you know, infrastructure. Actually, I was talking to Bob about it too, and he suggested that when a good first issue is 
put out there. Like we could create a GitHub action maybe to say like, to auto just to scan for them and just auto tweet it when it happens. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only way we're really gonna be able to get them because they get snapped up so fast. If we are to do it, if we were to try to do it just on Thursdays, we would have to incorporate all of this knowledge, all of this logic to say, is this yeah. tweet claimed? Or is this GitHub, <laughs> uh, is this good first issue claimed? Which is kind of complicated because sometimes there's PR PRs on them and that's easy to tell, but sometimes it's just like in the comments, like I'm doing this, so. Yeah, great point. So, yeah, um, yeah, it's like if they're getting picked up so fast, then I don't think we need to tweet about them. Right. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> if, if, if it is a lingering <laughs> issue, right? Like if it's a, if it's tagged good first issue and it's older than a day, I say we tweet about it. That yeah. might be a good, that might be a good way indicator. to do it. Like some kind of action that could just run at like 3 a.m. daily or something or 3 p.m. daily, whatever. I don't know, whatever time it needs to run. We can decide that later, but like just some action that's like, all right, here's all the dev stats. All right, this is a, this tweet, this good first issue is a day old. Here's a tweet, you know? It's a neat idea. I'm down for so that's something we've been, we've yeah, been discussing we've been, it. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love thinking about from like the from the project point of view, right? Like if they're getting picked up, that's already a win. So right. uh, do we need to elevate it? I think that um, I always like try to inverse that as well. So selfishly, we want people to follow that Twitter account and they'll follow it when there's good information. And if yeah. good first issues are very popular, that means the Twitter account will eventually be popular um, by association. So that's also kind of an a neat thing so yeah maybe huh. there's a useful learning here that we could bring back to the sigs too of like mm -hmm. when you post a good first issue they get snapped up really fast so <laughs> maybe you should think more about how you do this and make sure that more are available if you can or something good point yeah if you want to increase your contribution base have more good yeah. first issues yeah. Huh, that's, that's You're really curating good first issues is a good suggestion to any SIG, I feel like. That, that would be Maybe. a possible article to explore, like going and interviewing SIG leads, like, hey, what is your, what does that process look like to you do a little data analysis? Sorry, uh, Rujula, were you saying something too? Yeah. I'm just saying we should start doing good second issue, good third issue, because we have passed that point where <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, y'all get excited for my next meeting. I gotta drop. Um, okay. Peace out, y'all. Thank you. Great right, job, Ajula. Great job, everyone. Thank you so much. Super, super fun. Okay. Um, I think the only other thing I'm curious about is Ajula. What's your new gig? Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to Stern. Have you heard of Stern, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going back to Stern. And the visa process is, is in progress. Once that's done, I'll be going back to Stern. That is so awesome. Congratulations. Awesome. I'm really happy for you. Uh, good. All right, all. Well, this was really fun demo filled meeting. Thank you so much, Rajula, for all the work you're doing. Um, one idea to leave you with for the weekend that we don't have to decide on now. I wanted to check in if whether, you know, I'm. Uh, a, a lot of our contributors are in your time zone, Rajula, and want to be respectful of you being able to go into the weekend. So I wanted to gauge whether Friday morning U.S. time is the best for you or if we could, uh, it'd be better to move to somewhere in the middle of the week so you can have your weekend separately. Um, if you want to DM me on on Slack, we can talk through that more, but just kind of get that idea out there for everybody to be more inclusive with our time and our and separate some weekend space. Um, yeah. But if this is ideal, that's okay too. Uh, just food for thought. Cool. Well, have a great weekend. Um, take care of yourselves. Get outside if you can. Uh, and thanks for being here. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone.